Hi, apparently overnight the first James Webb Space Telescope image just dropped, so I haven't seen it yet, so I thought I'd just shoot a video um, and have a reaction to the first image. Apparently, I believe it's going to be like a deep fieldy kind of uh, image, but um, of course everyone's familiar with the famous Hubble um, deep field. Uh, ultra deep field they, they did a couple they did the deep field and then I think they did the ultra uh, deep field image and uh, yeah where they with Hubble they simply pointed it at a spot where there were no stars they've never seen anything before it was just black they pointed it out there they opened the shutter for you know like five days or something I can't remember how uh, long it was and this is what they got they saw in this spot where we've seen absolutely nothing before all these galaxies popped out like every practically or almost every dot of light in here is a galaxy and it was just absolutely mind-blowing the Hubble deep field it was just absolutely phenomenal I think there were some stars I uh, captured in there as well but like some really um, faint ones were there I mean what is that but uh yeah anyway um the james webb space telescope which i can't believe worked um, it's like there was it had so many moving uh parts you know it had to unfold and then it had to calibrate itself and each mirror has to be individually calibrated and then it got hit by a um, micrometeorite apparently and um yeah it's damaged one of the mirrors but not too bad apparently so it shouldn't be a much of a problem um they reckon but yeah what are the odds right anyway um yeah it's sitting out there at one of the lagrange points um and it's just it's just hovering there and if they overshot it by a bit they never could have got back anyway it it worked it's unbelievable, yeah, but a lot of people said, ah, oh, yeah, they've been building and testing it for 20 years, so it bloody well want to work, but, you know, <laughs> things can come a gutter. So, anyway, um, will we see something like this again? I don't know where they pointed it, sorry, I don't know details. If you want that, go and watch a proper bloody astronomy channel. You're not going to get anything here. So I'm going <laughs> to, James Webb Space Telescope, first image, uh, countdown, NASA high resolution. That's where we, Reddit, no, we don't want Reddit. Um, high resolution. Wee, there it is. Is that it? No, that that's different. To, oh no, that that's just cropped. Quite have no idea. NBC News. We'll go to NASA. Okay, here we go. Oh, it was only an hour ago. Okay, I thought it was right. NASA Web delivers deepest infrared image of universe yet. Yeah, I, this is wow, wow. Is that all? Smu that's all smudgy. Is that like a gravitational lensy thing happening? I don't know what I have no idea what they pointed at I don't think it's the same like point at a black spot and take a deep field I don't think that's what it what they were doing but that that almost looks like they they look like there's some sort of central point here and these look warpedy like these ones look fine right and uh, the reason that it's got um the six points on it is because of the hexagonal shape of the mirrors um it's the same with your lens on your camera if you take an image then depending on the number like the shape of your aperture um then that's how number of points of light that you'll get like the star type shape they happen to be hexagonal uh mirrors so they actually get the hexagonal light i won't pretend to know the optics um the physics of the optics involved but yeah so these ones all seem um so so these are all galaxies right almost oh look at that one down there wow wow that's something president why did they get biden to unveil it come on um <laughs> seriously i i don't think you could pay me to watch that announcement um what you know look check out this thing what is this it's almost as if all these ones in here are warped due to gravitational lensing am i right or wrong i don't know uh what does it say uh bought out faint structures extremely disengaged offering the most detailed view thousands of galaxies including the faintest objects ever in the infrared because that's the thing with hubble is that it's able to do uh, infrared because it's completely shielded um from the heat of the earth the sun everything else so it's yeah it can it can do the infrared um so yeah this is it, it does have the ability to do color i believe but uh whether or not this is false color in the infrared spectrum i'm not sure but anyway they can like get um apparently they can get spectra 
of each individual pixel on this thing. It's it's just absolutely incredible. Yeah, the images shows the galaxy cluster SMACS0723 as it appeared 4.6 billion years ago. The combined mass of this galaxy cluster acts as a gravitational lens magnifying much more distant galaxies behind it. Right, so it's not just one. Yeah, it didn't look like one object, right? Because this doesn't, you know, this is not completely circular, right? If it was just one object, but it's, it, yeah, it's a galaxy cluster and the galaxy cluster, the cluster of galaxies, is gravitationally lensing the uh, light from behind <laughs> those galaxies, like the even deeper distant galaxies. So I'm not sure how close the, um, the galaxies were that they were um, imaging. And then all of these galaxies in the background popped out. And these are all, yeah, all these points of light. They're all galaxies. They're all galaxies. They all just pop out. It's incredible. Look at look look at that one down there. Look, oh, it's perfect. Oh, oh, look, and that yeah, and that one's spectacular. And you'll get all your different shapes of your galaxies. And is this like the deepest? Can we click on that? Oh, there we go. There we go. We can go in. Yeah, yeah. L look at that. Look how that's been warped. That's or is that something? That almost looks something else, doesn't it? Oh, no, no, because it's, it's bending with the same curvature as that, but oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I'm not sure which ones are causing the lens in. Is it, is it these? Because they've overexposed these ones. And wow. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Oh, is that like... Oh, no, I was going to say, is that almost like gas coming out of that? Oh wow, check out the spiral of that one down there. Wow. No, it's like unbelievable. Like some of them are going to be like side on, so you can't just, you know, the, the randomness of the galaxy, I guess. I don't know how, you know, what the data is for the randomness of whether or not they face us, you know, well like this one or completely face us like this one here or um or, or edge on like this. I'm not sure what the distribution is, but wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> That's cool, huh? That is amazing. And this is, I'm not sure, like, the size of this, like, the field, the, uh, you know, how many arc seconds or whatever it is. Um, but, yeah. Wow, that's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Wow. So that is apparently um, much more much more detail like hubble deep field was absolutely amazing is that going to pop up view all images not nah. there but uh, yeah apparently um it's much more detailed and you can get deeper you know further back in time basically with the james Webb space telescope it's unbelievable because they can view it in the infrared which um uh you know the instruments here just well we can do it but it's piss poor, right? It's like there's a there's a spectral um, chart. One of the YouTubers um, I follow, um, uh, Becky, is it? Um, she um, she I think she analysed the spectrum, uh, like, and the, like we 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 just got like this horrible response like this before, like the actual resolution that this thing's capable of. We got this horrible like you know, bell shaped thing before and and this new one we get we get to see all the little data and then boom and then da, 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 of the you know the spectral response and the resolution of this thing is just absolutely mind blowing check out that bad boy wow <laughs> and then you've got like these like i don't oh no 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 that's a galaxy with i can't remember the names of the galaxy with like just the two yeah it's similar to that one but like maybe that one's still still growing or whatever but yeah, I, it's it's amazing. Like you, you you just point at it like a random piece of the sky, and if you've got a sensitive enough instrument, you leave your shutter open long enough. <laughs> yeah, shut up, right? <laughs> um, you go into uh, you you go into see all this. It's just wow, absolutely wow. I wonder if you can see the point where the micrometeorite hit. Is there <laughs> something missing? Like is every chunk taken out of the galaxy somewhere? I doubt it. Um, I don't know if it works like that, but yeah, that's cool, huh? Wow. Absol oh, what is that? Look at that. That's like, what is that being eaten by this one down here? I mean, it's shown, like, there's so much. I'm going to have to go 
now check out all my favorite space YouTubers and they're going to just be, um, yeah, all over this <laughs> like a rash. <laughs> and just this one image, I'm sure you could, you know, do multiple PhD thesis on, right? <laughs> it's just where we've never gotten this data before. And it's not just the image. It's not just the image. There's so much science data behind this. As I said, I think they can get like the spectral response of like every pixel or something. Um, I don't know if they captured it with this or whether, you know, it's how you operate the instruments for a given task. Um, but yeah, they're, they're capable of like, <laughs> it's much more than just getting photos. In fact, the photos, are just, they're essentially just for the public to go wow at, right? Whereas the, whereas the real astronomers care about the actual, you know, data. Oh, look at this spike. It just popped out. Oh, that's a, you know, that, that's a hydrogen line or a helium line or something, you know? And they're just going burko over that. Um, but yeah, like, like all, even these little dots right back here, right? These are all galaxies. These are all galaxies. All these little smudges out here. I mean, how many, like, it was peering back 4.6 billion years, right? It's just, it's, it's nuts. It's taken the light that long to get here. And it's all gravitationally lensed <laughs> due to this cluster. <laughs> Of stars, what I assume like these, uh, they're, sorry, clusters of galaxies. So I assume it's like, were these like closer galaxies and they wanted to see behind them? And we've only ever seen like these three points before or something like that. I'm not sure how that, I'm not, not, not sure how it actually, which ones are, yeah. Anyway, go watch a real space YouTube <laughs> if you want the lowdown. But there you go. Isn't that cool? Wow. The first um, like major image that they've released from the James Webb Space Telescope. Oh, wow. 10 billion bucks. Well, was it 10? Something like that. Well spent. This is like just, it's not, as I said, it's not just the images. It's the data we can get back from this. Absolutely priceless. Unbelievable. Hats off to everyone who did. Hats off to everyone who worked on this. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable that it worked. Um, there's so much that could have gone wrong. But no, they absolutely, you know, a lot of people say it was the most thoroughly tested thing in human history or something you know and i don't doubt that um because you only get one shot of sending this thing out there and it was so long in development so expensive um that yeah it's and and it had so many moving parts that had to like everything had to unfold in like sequence like hundreds of things steps had to you know work in sequence otherwise the, the thing was just um a shot so yeah that's incredible Wow, I didn't know what to expect, and uh, I didn't know we would. I'd get like gravitational lensing from galaxies and stuff. That's just amazing. Wow. <laughs> Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.